Hello, I'm Robert and today I'm going to be talking a little bit about uh, Windows 8.1's recent update, Update 1. Uh, update 1 is basically uh, an enhancement to Windows 8.1 that provides better mouse and keyboard uh, control for Windows 8.1. Uh, essentially it's Microsoft starting to move Windows 8.1 uh, closer to its other Windows products uh, so it's the first step in making Windows 8.1 feel a little bit more like previous iterations of Windows and less like the wacky version that uh, has put so many people off of it so uh, first of all I thought I'd go through some of the um, changes that have been made so first off uh, they've added in power and search buttons to the main desktop page so if you see at the top right corner here we can see both a power button for switching the computer off updating it restarting it and that sort of thing and also some uh, search functionality previously you had to uh, go to the widget on the right to get search and go into settings and power to shut down your computer so that's more accessible now straight from the desktop there uh, you can now pin all of your uh, apps on this page to your uh, desktop uh, bar so you can see here the store uh, option which is pinned by default uh, there and I've added Netflix in it's dead simple to add in other apps on that page as well let's say you want to select let's go with uh, Xbox games there right click on it and you can go to pin to taskbar and then you'll see it pinned there to the taskbar dead simple you can access the taskbar from anywhere uh, when you're using the mouse and you can see the taskbar on any screen we've also added in the start button again although it's not quite the same as the start button uh, on previous versions of windows uh, all it does currently is take you back uh, to this page here and you, you can always access it just in the bottom left hand corner it will always pop up no matter where you are and you say uh, switch between pages there so just click it and you switch that's quite handy uh, they've added in more familiar uh, mouse and keyboard options uh, this is uh, perhaps one of the biggest steps at moving Windows 8.1 away from uh, the sort of Windows 8 look and feel and uh, move it over to something that's closer to what uh, users are familiar with from Windows 7 and other previous versions of Windows so if I just demonstrate this for you with uh, Netflix will do the pull up Netflix and you'll see in the top right corner we now have the minimize and the close cross back which you know most users of uh, Windows 7, Windows XP, Windows Vista, Windows 2000 you know even if you use Windows 95 you'll be familiar with uh, minimizing and closing programs with the little X so it's good to see that back and it is easier I suppose for a lot of mouse users although that said I've never had a problem with using my mouse to drag and drop a program to close it but I've seen a lot of people seem to have issues with that so Microsoft have put in those functions back. Uh, as you might have noticed earlier, you can now right click uh, on apps to gain extra functionality. So if you right click on this page in the start screen, you'll see a list of options come up with unpin from start, pin to taskbar, uninstall, uh, resize options and turn the live tile off if it's a tile that automatically updates. Uh, previous versions of Windows prior to Windows Update 1 didn't have this feature. I don't know how useful it is, it's probably a little bit easier I think to just right click on something and get those options. Uh, with the Windows Store pinned to start now they reckon that it's easier to find new apps and also remember what apps you've also installed and you should see messages telling you what else is already installed on your computer and it's easier to go to the list of all the apps. Uh, I believe they've slimmed down the footprint of Windows 8.1 uh, so it will run on uh, lower specs machines that's really just for Microsoft's benefit as it means that uh, they can offer lower end devices, cheaper devices uh, and have them still run Windows 8.1 
and actually I think business wise that's the main reason for switching to uh, these changes that Microsoft's making to Windows 8.1 uh, really that's all the main changes they've currently made as I say I, I think they really benefit business users more than the home user um, much as anything else most people are familiar with the way Windows works with things like the start menu right clicking closing uh, programs by clicking the X in the corner um, and from a business point of view if you're looking to upgrade to a new operating system you're not going to move over to Windows 8.1 because you're going to have to spend a lot of money retraining your staff in how to use it so if Microsoft can make Windows 8.1 more familiar to users then it's more likely that businesses will migrate to it at some point because they won't have such high training costs. Also let's be honest uh, Windows 8 hasn't been all that well received I think it's seen by a lot of people as the sort of the dark horse um, it's like Windows Vista it's the bad one before the next good one. Um, personally I've really enjoyed using it I really like Windows 8 I've been using it since it came out and I've even done some of the beta testing for it um, and so I really like it but I can see why Microsoft is making these changes uh, it's my understanding that coming out later this year will be update 2 uh, in which case we may well see more changes um, that make Windows 8.1 more like previous versions of uh, Windows and I've heard a rumour although I don't know how true it is that we might be getting a full and working uh, start button back with Windows 8.1 update 2 so let's keep our fingers crossed for that because that is something I'd quite like ok thanks for watching uh, if you found this video helpful or useful please feel free to uh, like it and leave a comment if you don't also please leave a comment and I'm happy to uh, receive feedback and uh, try and improve these videos so thanks for watching